Hello all and welcome back to the channel. This is me Farmer Emily Extreme and this time I'm bringing you another new mod match tour on Farm Sim 19, the American life of farming. If this is you looking for, then please stay tuned. Hello all and welcome to American Life Off Farming, this map I made by the one and only Lancy Boy. It is 384.21 megabytes to download and at the time of recording it's only available on console players or PlayStation and Xbox. And the description goes as following. Welcome to American Life Off Farming, this is based on various parts of Ohio in the United States. All models are based on real life parts of Ohio. Animals are included two cow yards with custom real life made barns, sheep farm, custom real life made barns, also pigs, but you must buy the land first, we'll have a look at that in a bit. And it's 40 season support, it's got alpha hydros added, calves has been added, but you must buy the land first. It is precision farming supported with all new crops, and new crops are as followed alfalfa, rye, rice, sorghum, tomatoes onions, millet, carrots, soybeans, corn are uh, tricked cool. as well as it is seasons ready. It's got 44 fields with missions on all fields of a variety of sizes. There are 8 set points including 1 BGA. Various farm for large and small to include animals or include animals sorry. It also got a custom soil textures, distance grass and ground textures along with a custom lighting, animated objects, all brand new custom made farm models and various farm simulating features as well as I've been putting tons of hours in making my own models I've had uh, oh, sorry my own models all I ask for you is for permission to use my assets so for those who are interested in modern maps just speak to Lance Boy and I'm sure he'll let you use some of his features and Lance Boy is a great bloke and let's get into the map tour folks so first of all we are on new farm mode but what I've done is I bought some fields just to show you the animal field points and that so oh, sorry the animal points and water field triggers on new farm mode you just own in this field and it is a hundred it's for 857 slots on farm management or starting from scratch um that goes all the way down to 700 and 26 slots with all the equipment or 548 slots with no equipment but there's a warning to that if you start on farm manager or start from scratch for me personally what I've experienced on the PlayStation 4 Pro and the PS5 is none of these animal triggers pop up when you buy the land so to speak nor does the water fill trigger that could be just a little bug or something feel free to experiment this yourself I've informed Nancy Boy of this little issue along with some other issues I will briefly mention in a sec. So yeah, that's one thing. So my personal advice is if you're starting this map at the time of recording before there's an update coming up for it, I recommend starting on farm manager or sorry, new farmer and you can just delete the equipment that you don't need and you can use the leasing, you can use the tax size to get your money down if you want to and so on and so forth or Government subsidy you want to add money to it. Again, that's totally up to you folks, that's just my personal recommendations. But anyways, what equipment do we start off with anyways? So if you go always starting over left, you've got two tractors. You've got the John Deere 6135M and the John Deere 7310R. You've got the new Han TX32 Combine, along with this is a pickup 2014, Agroliner HKD302. Uh, the new Holland TK, oh, sorry, TX32 header, Dagger Mass Plow, got the Horse Tiger 6DT Cultivator, got the Valstrat Rapid A600S Cedar, along with the Vix, oh, sorry, Viking Fanix 604, which is a Tedler, also got a Konga 9531 Wind New Holland Roll Belt 150, which is a Bader. And last but not least, a John Deere pickup 
1.15 kilogram weights. So that's all your equipment got off this sort of folks. So what we're going to do is we're starting up here. So let's have a look at the main farm, shall we? A sec. So our farm silo is just over here. So you can see you got the auger system here, which is pretty much you dump crop in there, goes up the auger and goes into the silo. And the exit point is do, 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 right here, right next to it. So you got some your equipment here, got some decent sheds. Uh, I think the entrance is the other way. Yep, there we go. So you got our John Deere there. Is that yeah six one three five? There it goes. Open that up. Sorry. Uh, there it goes. So it opens one way, then the other. Got your other John Deere, got your combine, tether, plow, cultivator, and roll belt. Also opens on both sides, interestingly. So yeah, what we're going to do is we'll hop into the pickup and we'll just have a look at the map, shall we? Of course, I've already seen bits of this map on PC with some other content creators off streaming and doing some let's say on it so oh, I'm looking forward to this map it's been a much requested map it's been waiting for ages for it okay we're good to cross so yeah also on this map there are various of different farms you can have you can start on field 34 if you want to or you can start on other farms there's plenty of farms to start with folks and here we are at the cow farm so let's pull in here a sec. And our trigger point is going to be here for the cows. Again, that will open one way, then the other. And you got your feeding triggers there. And your manure and slurry is just going to be over here, I think. There's the manure pit. Oh, wrong way. Yeah. It's good right away. <laughs> My apologies, sir. Let's go boop, over the gate. So you got your manure. And I'm guessing that is your slurry tank. Also, you got opening these gates, I think. Yes, you can. So, yeah, just again, just different features on the map. I've seen Nancy Boy screenshots of developing this, so I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. Also, you just put your bed in, in there. And yeah, it's got a big field 29 there. That's why you got some decent shed sizes. So let's open these, boop, and boop. Yeah, get some decent equipment there. Uh, but onwards now. And just briefly mention another issue that currently has been noted by Nancy Boy is. I think it's mainly on Xbox at the moment is that you are required to download the Alpine DLC because if you don't then for some reasons the roads doesn't show and or does some of the bridges I think but I didn't have an Xbox so I can't test it so I'm just reporting on for what Nancy Boy's been receiving so I think yeah I've downloaded the Alpine DLC and then it should work also try to unsaw and reinstall the map and that might also help as well Oh, no, going wrong way, we want to go this way because we want to go to the straw and manure pit. So, yeah. What we're going to do is one, first to save all the save. So, we're going to go along here, go to the straw, manure, and spinnery. Then, we're going to go down to the other farm silo. I'm just going to pretty much work our way down and work our way around. Also with the crops, as you can see here, you've got your new crops, got tomatoes, tomato, onions, carrot, rice, sorghum, rye and alfalfa. Along with tritical, so yeah. Actually, I will just pull it for a sec, because I want to show you some of the equipment as well. So if you go to harvesters, I think, yeah, so you can harvest some crops there. And I think if you go to the beat one, you also get a root harvester, which has been installed by the Nancy Boy. Now, do carrots, 
So not carrot. Yeah, carrots, onions, tomatoes, along with potatoes and sugar beets. Uh, I think that's the only one. Yeah. So also with the beets harvester, the root harvester, you need the appropriate header, and that will be uh, not not there. Beet technology. So you got a tomato header, sugar beet header, potato header, onion header, carrot header. And then obviously you got your normal HR12 for your sugar beet. So, about 104 grand, not too bad pricing. Big expense compared to some of the others, but it is what it is. And in terms with planting these, uh, if we go to planters, for example, the Tempa L16 that can do your onions, carrots, tomatoes, rice, and I think that's sogrum, I think. I've got to cedars. Yeah, I'll do pretty much everything. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. yeah, certain crops need obviously the planter. Others can use the cedars to get away with. Uh, let's pull it out of here if we can without getting cut off by the pickup. There we go. So I'll try to get around this map as quick as I can because I think there's so much detail to this map. Do a head left here. So much details on this map, and just yeah, I'll we'll get within a decent time frame window. We also do have a farm up here, I think. Now, there's a it seems like a little farm up there, but nothing comes up when you buy it. Obviously, ignore the money, I'll just be adding money in to buy all of it because I wasn't sure how many farms there was, so I thought just dump in the little money and just go from there. But next, anyways, we're onwards to our first sell points. See, so yeah, again, there's another small farm here. And. Again, yeah, nothing comes up when you buy it, so I think that's just a. One is placeable farms, as far as I can gather. Again, I could be wrong on that, but from what I've been looking at and testing, that's just a decorative thing. But yeah, anyway, we're at your spinnery cell point and your manure buy point. Or sorry, manure cell point. As well, you can sell straw here as well. So, having a look at the straw and manure. Yeah, so this one's straw manure. And that will take obviously straw and manure, and that is it. Spinnery will take your cotton and wool. And that is it. So yeah, let's get rid of that a sec. So hop back into the pickup. And the next head down to the second or well, third farm, should I say. Second or third, so where you want to call it. Yeah, it was a head down here, first of all. And again, also worked by Dancy Boy. I know he spent a lot of time developing this map, and as expected, he wouldn't come out perfectly. Yeah, sometimes he's going to help the bugs, but again, it's just one of those things you didn't realise until it was actually released, or when Giants tested it. All the bugs that Giants found has been resolved and went released to the general public sometimes. Other little niggles come up, that's just how it is sometimes, but I know that support will get this quickly resolved and as soon as he can update it, he will. So yeah, here's your second farm and got your cider there. And that is it pretty much. Also you got some little sheds here. Actually, I'll say it's a little shed. It's actually quite a decent sized shed, to be honest. Also, you do get a house over here, and I'm sure you could buy one of the many seat triggers on the mod hub, including some by A and Jim and that. And just place it there, and you can sleep in those houses if you want. But anyways, next we're going to head down to the next 
animal section, I think, yeah, said that first, then we'll go the other way and have a look at that. So, yeah, we are at your pig farm next. So, go to here. Let's pull over here. Got some open storage areas here. A pig trigger point is actually here. It is. So, this little has a box. But just go to random escape, press L3, and it works. Got your food and water trust respectively. And I'm pretty sure you've got actually go into the field, so you open this gate. Oop. Well, I'm getting smacked like I did. And Mary, just go pull in here. And you unload it as it is. And you've got your manure outtake. And I think this is your slurry pit. Yeah. Well, actually, quite like that. She. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's your slurry, and she's quite different. I'm actually liking that, personally, but. Didn't notice that beforehand, so yeah, that's just my general reaction, folks. Also, I've got some little sheds up here, I think we have. Oh, nope, didn't want to do that. There we go, that's why I wanted it was to trigger the torch function, so. Or is it again? Yeah, over here. My apologies for that, folks. See, so, yeah, head up here. Yeah, got some little, sh little shed area here. Yeah, you can put some of your mowers out, or put a very small tractor in there. Also, you've got your big side here, and for those who want it, you do have these lasers, like laser pointers, I call it, where you can, where it directs you to where to unload. And so here you've got a fair bit of sheds. Ooh, look at that. I am really liking this. Again, you got a house here, you can just put a seeking trigger there and Bob's your uncle. So you're next with a head out of here. And so we're gonna go left now. So there is another farm over here. Yep, there is a silo and a water point.
fun Sunday. That's why you got other fields like fields 24 and 25, 444,000, 442, 974, 1.7 mil. So yeah, actually, yes, they're a little bit expensive, but for what you can actually get from them, they are worth, it. like, for example, fields 28, 1.7 mil, but look at the size of that. That's got sugarcane in there, I think. Oh no, I think that's sorghum, I think. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, sorghum. So yeah, my apologies there, let's get rid of you. So yeah, anyways, we're going to go onwards and continue down the map. You know what, let's, let's do a bit of cross country, let's use this little dirt path here. And just, yeah, let's cut the field. There we go. So yeah, next we're going to head to the sawmill. So yeah, here we go. So your number cell point is here. So you just pretty much pull up here, press L3, and Bob's your uncle number sold. Your wood chip cell point is, I think, it's around here. Oh my pot! Yep, there we go. So yeah, you just reverse up, sell your wood chips, and there you go. So next we'll come out of here. Sorry, let's look at the map and yeah, the entrance to the main farm is this way. Sort of see there the main farm in the distance there, but we'll actually follow the actual roads. Just overtake some cars here. Don't mind me. Ah, look at that beautiful flag. So yeah, we're going to turn in here now, this is the entrance to your main farm. Or your main big farm off the map, so if you want... This is where I would personally start off with if I was playing on this map. So yeah, you got your farm side there to your left. So you just drive in here. Let's just turn the headlights on. Sorry about that, there we go. So you got your main side there. And it all comes out with, at the same side, I'm pretty sure of. See there where it sort of links up a bit there. And you got another side of here. And it all comes out of here. So you just pretty much go L3 and unload. You also have got your bunker side of here. Got your bunker side there. Got some decent amount of storage there for all your big equipment. So if you won't have some of the Borgo DLC equipment, the big drills, crack all. If you want some of the big foot plows and cedars like DB120 and some other ones I can't remember the top of my head the actual names of it, then crack on the sort here. Next, we'll turn around. 
I'm going to go to the cow pasture. So it's going to be cow pasture one. And that's going to be your trigger point to buy them. There we go. Turn lights on. See, so he's pretty much just dump it in here, the straw gnats. Try to find the milk trigger point. Okay, let's. Uh, what did you do? Let's have a look here. Would be the back of here. Or it could be at the other cow pasture, perhaps. I think so. Let's have a look, shall we? So we we'll go down to the second cow pasture. Ah, there we go. So, oh, you can actually buy calves here. You can buy some baby cows if you fancy it. There we go. Didn't mean to buy that, but uh, there we go. I'm not sure quite where the milk uh, trigger point is. I'm sure, once you get milk produced, it'll pop up very quickly, so I do apologize for that. But, anyways, onwards and upwards, folks. Still got plenty part of the map to explore. And I think the next way is go down the highway, I think. Yeah, let's head down the highway. So come up here. But first of all, you've got your highway cell point. So we're going to pull up here. There we go, and pretty much here it is. Not much to it, just a simple dump and off the way you go. One off the trains, because the train will smash into you. Believe me, I know. And let's see what this will take. So your highway cell point would take your rye and your basic game crops of wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans and corn. Fair enough. I think, yeah, we'll head down the highway, we'll look down south, then we'll come back up and we'll look at the east point of the map, so... I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> we'll find out in a sec if I'm not. So you got your biogas plant over there. Pretty simple, nothing overly special about that, but... There you go. And yes, we're headed down the highway, but I um, can't turn off here, can't we? Where's the invisible barrier to? I think it's somewhere down there, but... Anyway, I just got across on my apologies there. Took the wrong road there, so yes, could go down the highway, but... Well, anyways, we are going to turn into here. And this is going to be a few more cell points, I think. So yeah, this is going to be your Audi ship, buy point, your bale cell point, and your animal market grain. So your bale cell point will take, let me guess, yep, your Listerine, Sorry, your alfalfa, sorry, um, dry and lucerine. Straw, hay, and grass. Don't know why I have so much trouble pronouncing that. And that is it. And your north grains, sorry, animal market grains, will take your millet, um, your, do, 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 what's that one? On um, tricticle, if I'm pronouncing that right, I think I'm not. So your tricticle, millet, sorghum, rye, 
your sugar beet, sugar cane, potatoes, corn, soybeans, sunflower, canola, wheat, barley, and oats. So that's going to be your pretty much second cell point for your main grain. So only the highway cell point and the meat animal market grains is where you could buy. Well, sorry, you could sell, sorry, your grains, your main grains. So yeah, we're just going to go to here, set. So you've got your manure buy point here. To your right, just reverse up and buy. And your LMZ shit trigger is going to be over there, I think. Does these open up? And no, they do not. So yeah, there you go, big house of box. L3, so you've got calves, large cow pasture, large pig enclosure, sheep, oak hill chickens, cows, and that is it. So back into the pickup, and so yeah. Crews come from up here, visit that this bit here. We're gonna go to the second farm not second farm, the next farm with the silo and fuel station. Head back up to the lime station, sea tanks, and then go to the store and that. So the store and the shop, then we'll look at the I think that's a calf barn or cow barn. No, sorry, sheep! <laughs> Got completely wrong. Then we we'll head back up north to the uh, um, Lime Station in that, North Grains, and conclude the map tour, folks. So, yeah, heading down the road now, and here we are, folks. At your next little farm here, just next to where I came from, and that's going to be your fuel point. There we go, topped up with fuel. Gonna turn around here, and your side is just gonna be here. Again, your typical auger out and auger in. And this is more for a smallish medium operation. Pretty large barn for your small equipment, but yeah, small to medium equipment, I would say this is for. And next we're gonna to head to your chickens. So just head down here, past all the beautiful lavender fields. I know it's not lavender, but it looks like the lavender-ish. And this is gonna be your chicken coop, so so down for this bit here. There we go. And this is going to be your chicken farm, folks, or chicken area. And trigger point for food is here. Your buy trigger point is here. And your eggs come out of here. So pretty much do with the other base game uh, chicken coops. I think, yeah, actually, yeah, we can head out here, couldn't we? So, yeah, so if we head this way oh uh, no couldn't head out that way let's head back to the main road I think through this way there we go let's just go around got a bit of a little dead patch there they sort of queried me Get another little, I wouldn't say it's dead patch, but you would have thought the, it would be, the crops would be just hay against the road on that point, but nope. But anyways folks, here we are. Let's pull up to here. And this is going to be your ATM. Look at your finances. We head over here, just jump over the fence, someone's back garden. And back over this way, this is going to be your, which cell point is this? Your super sore cell point. And so we'll take 
your potatoes, eggs, milk, and rice, carrots, onions, tomatoes, or tomatoes, whatever you want to call it, and that is it. Over here, you got your another fuel point here. You've also got your anhydra station. Let's reverse back up there. Oh, sorry, I see here. So your fuel is here, I think. No, your fuel's here. Sorry, it's getting mixed up there a sec. So you got different tanks there, I guess, and this is for, yep, your liquid fertilizer and your herbicide to fill up points. And I'm guessing this is a water cell point. No, 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 sorry, not water cell point. And lastly on the map tour is your animal deer ship and this is up here, your straw and manure by point. Oh, sorry, cell point, my apology. So, yeah, let's go around here. Just hop over here and have a look, shall we? So your LMD ship is there. And your manure cell point, right? Yep, manure cell point, double check. Yep, straw manure cell point is here. And here. So yeah, your LMD ship is just going to be around the corner. Out of here. Nope, that won't open up. Wait a minute. Do I have to own this? Hmm, a bit odd. Unless I'm doing it the wrong way around. And it's just around here. There we go. So yeah, my apologies about that, but yeah. Also got a nice little horse paddock area roaming around. But anyways folks, that's gonna be it for me for now. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, smash the like button through the comment down below. I've watched shows, so please be my guests. If not subscribed to the farm rate voice show yet, then please do. As we're so close to two thousand subs, I include that with your support folks. But anyways, whatever you choose to do. I hope you have a nice day, but for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.